Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to unclog a clogged spray paint can. This will be a super easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, I have the spray paint can, and this spray paint can is not clogged, but I've dealt with clogged ones before, so I wanted to show you the method that I use to unclog them, especially if you leave them sitting in your garage for a few years at a time, and then you go to use them again, and they're clogged up. This is the method for you. All that you need is the actual spray paint can, and I like to use the end, the sort of the pointy end of a safety pin right here, but you can use a sewing needle as well. Pretty much anything that has an end that's uh, pretty pointy and small like this one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna close this up. The first thing that you want to do is you want to remove the nozzle from the spray paint can because that's going to be what is clogged, okay, almost certainly. So usually you just pull them off and sort of give them a little twist and pull. Make sure you don't push them down because that's going to cause it to spray. So just twist and pull. It's going to come off like that. Now you can look right there, but most likely um, it's not going to be clogged there. And like I said, don't push that because that's going to cause it to spray, okay? But you can look and see if there's any clogs, but most likely there's not going to be a clog there. Where you are likely going to see a clog is over here. Now, like I said, this one isn't clogged, but I've encountered many clogs before. Now, there's going to be two specific areas that you have to try and unclog. The first area is right down here, and luckily for us, this one has a nice big opening, but some of them are going to be quite small. That's why I recommend using a very small tip like this. Okay, over here. And the second one is going to be over here where it sprays out of. So the first one is where the spray paint goes into and then where it comes out of. And on this one right here, you can see there's a really fine little nozzle. But what I can do is I can untwist this and pull it off um, just like that. And that gives us access to the opening right there. So you'll probably be able to see the clogs. Um, but even if you can't, you want to just clean them out. So what I do recommend is you get your either sewing needle or your safety pin, just like that. And on the part where the spray paint goes into, you just want to go ahead and clean that up. Like I said, it might be a small, tiny little fine hole where you just barely get in there. This is much bigger. Obviously, it's not clogged, but if it was, I would go in here with my little safety pin or sewing needle, and I would just go like that to sort of unclog it, being very careful because there is a sharp tip at the edge of your sewing needle or safety pin, okay? That part would be unclogged. And then what I would do is I would look at the where the spray paint comes out of the front of it. As you can see right here are the front of the nozzle. And like I said, there's no clog, but if there was, I would then go ahead and I would try and clean that out like that, just like this, okay? Um, use your safety pin or your sewing needle, try and clean it out, okay? And then once you get a nice clean nozzle, it will likely be unclogged. There is a slim chance that this might be clogged right here. And if that's the case, what you can do is on this side, you can get your safety pin or sewing needle and you can just get it in there and just try and clear it up just a little bit, but you're not gonna, you can't go that far in there, but just a little bit, you try and clear that up just like that, okay? Um, and then at that point, you'd probably be okay. So what you're gonna do is put your, if you have a little nozzle like this, you're gonna go and put it back on. You wanna make sure that's back on. And then you're gonna carefully put the nozzle of the spray paint can back on the actual can because, and I say carefully, because if you push too hard, it's gonna actually spray. So what I like to do is I like to hold it at the bottom. I don't push from up here, I hold it at the bottom and I just put it around there and I always make sure it's pointed away from me. So it's pointed to there, it's not pointed towards me. Okay, and I just slide it down there nice and easily just like that, not really applying any pressure, just really sliding it down until it can't go any further. At this point, it's back on there, we're good to go. And just to make sure that, you know, I've put it down all the way, the cap should fit perfectly fine. We're good to go, just like that. And that's how to unclog a clogged spray paint can. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.